So, you didn't think you'd be seeing this now, would you? Hello everyone, Mega Man NG here, and it's playthrough time. Before we begin, special thanks to the people at Insomniac for providing me a copy of this game. And I am going to be enjoying this to the fullest. This is Ratchet & Clank, the game based on the movie, based on the game, which is going to be in theaters on April 29th. I plan on seeing it, and I will be providing my review of it. In some ways, this is basically a retelling of the first game, but with a lot of differences. What are they? I don't really know for sure. So yeah, I've been a big fan of Ratchet and Clank since it came out in 2002. That's like more than 13 years ago, when it first came out on the PlayStation 2. I can tell you all about it, but I'll let you guys watch the opening movie. Alright? Enjoy. Oh, never mind. We just press any button right here and get ourselves started. Alright, so we have a new game. We have three different difficulty settings. Casual, perfect for rookies, enemies take it easy, controls are simplified, and the camera automatically adjusts. Normal is to traditional standard difficulty, while hard is for expert players who like to fight Sharkigators barehanded and walk away from explosions in slow-mo. I'm gonna do this in normal, so let's rock. Move it out, Shiv. Oh, oh yeah. Hero, huh? Identifying prisoner 117. Shiv, Helix. You think you can break me, copper? Yeah, I've been in the darkest pits in the universe. Places that would make your vaults rattle. The eternity pits of Zord Doom. The iron holds in your balance. <laughs> Greetings, new fish. I'm Captain Quark. I I don't believe it. You're here. I used to dream of being arrested by you. Now get out of here. I was talking to you, Zed. Yes, Captain. So, new fish, I take it you followed my many, many adventures? Of course I have. You're the most famous superhero in the galaxy. He ain't famous anymore. <laughs> Words hurt, solitary Bill. I'm a huge fan. I even pre-ordered the new Ratchet & Clank Hollow game. The what? You know, the game based on that incident with you and that Lombax. Oh, you must mean the Hollow film. Yeah, it's pretty good. If you like all CG. No, I mean the game. It's based on the Hollow film. Look, here's my confirmation email. I'm having it mag shipped to prison. <laughs> They're making a game based on the Hollow film based on my life? But they haven't even consulted me. Oh, this is my fault. I've been away from my adoring public in this forsaken place too long. And now, no one will ever hear my side. I'd like to hear your side, Captain. You would? Well, then sit down, wary criminal, and I'll tell you a story. It all started with a hapless Lombax named Ratchet. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? Hey, Grim, you're here. I I thought you'd be down at the bazaar shopping for gravity coils. Uh huh. Well, I'm here. I'm always here. I don't suppose you sneaking out would have anything to do with those Galactic Ranger tryouts? I just need one hour. Come on, Grim. These are the Galactic Rangers we're talking about. Captain Quark will be there. No leaving the garage until you help fix Mr. Micron's ship. Now get on that bolt crank. Wow, Grim, what a dork. Just... Come on, give it a spin. Yeah, I already know how the controls work. I played this game enough to know. Okay, let's see if these new Versa bulbs work. Look up. Do you see something flashing? Well, I am looking at it. 
Left side looks good. It's a miracle. On to the afterburner lights. Look down. Lower left afterburner light checks out. This thing might just be space worthy after all. One more to the right. All right, let's do it. Right afterburner works. So, are we good? Yep, we're good. The news says the tryouts are being held at the fairgrounds. Show them what you got, kid. With great pleasure. And so Ratchet began his adventure, hoping to become a galactic ranger. And good thing I can adjust camera controls. So yeah, this is Ratchet and Clank on the PlayStation 4. Sort of a retelling or a re yeah, it is a retelling of the first game. But the only difference is, is well, it's being narrated by Captain Quark. Which makes you question why the heck Captain Quark is in prison to begin with. Unless his story takes place afterwards. Yeah, back off. At least the controls are pretty spot on. And you also get new cards as you defeat enemies. Although I wonder if it has to do with getting like new weapons. In there. Whichever the case, I am looking forward to how this game goes. So yeah, you can jump, you can use your wrench, you can like hold down L2. And what's interesting about this is that now you can actually move while you're throwing the wrench. Sort of like good like jousting. And I like that. And yes, as you beat enemies up, you get experience. And the more experience you get, the more health you'll have. Rather, health upgrades. Yeah, pretty straightforward at best. And I'm enjoying this. And you can also double jump. So if you're familiar with this game, chances are you'll know exactly what you're doing. Lombax displayed a flagrant disregard for public property. Look at him smashing crates. <laughs> the hubris. Can it, Quark? just saving up bolts so we can buy a new weapon to protect the galaxy with. Hey, who's telling the story here? Yeah, Quark is. And we have loads of enemies. Ow, okay. You know what? Fine, I'll just whack him. Ratchet forged ahead. His destination? Destiny. Destiny, more like the Galactic Rangers tryouts. And Planet Veldon looks so different than what it was in the original game. So different, yet also so alive. All right, why not? Trying to see what the tryouts are all about. Oh, come on. This is child's play. No problemo. Though I was kind of careless when I'm about to fall. With pleasure. Hey there, recruit. I'm Frax Lectris, and my specialty is brute force. Let's see how well you can bash these crates. And I bash them like quick. Any other questions? Yeah, I make this look easy. Hey, that was pretty good. Keep moving. It's time to get our hands on some firepower. Now this is the good stuff. And we can also buy weapons. We can also fill health and ammo, too. We get 100 bolts like this, and we get the fusion grenade. And we can also upgrade our weapons, too. Awesome. Next step, blow stuff up. That's what I want. Prepare for massive destruction. And that's what I love about the Ratchet and Clank games. You get to destroy everything. by the large amounts of ammunition left sitting around in crates. But of course. And I think personally, I maybe should have tried it on hard because I'm like a pro at this game. Oh, goody, they bring enemies along. Time for them to get a whacking. In order to spice things up, we've armed these dummies with Gadgetron flamethrowers. Our lawyers are totally cool with this. Good job, recruits. You may just be the next Galactic Ranger. Head to the final challenge. Are those the Fongoids? You can do this. It's time for the final challenge. Survive a brutal onslaught of enemies, and you just might be our next Galactic Ranger. Or maybe. And in turn, you wish. 
Come on, where's the challenge? Oh, these guys? Lame. Give me a better challenge, guys. What, did something just hit me? Yeah, it did. Nice, he leveled up. Gains a max health by plus 10. Yeah, so you get the idea. Defeat enemies to raise your health. And I make this look ridiculously easy. There you go, we get the trophy, basically trading. That wasn't so bad. Yeah, it wasn't so bad, alright, but I'm enjoying it all the same. This is fun. Ladies and gentlemen, the savior of Solana, Captain Quark. Hello, Veldin. Hello, Captain. He's on fire again. I know. My name is Copernicus Quark, and yes, that was an impressive wall of fire I just walked past. I'm gonna be real with you folks for a moment. When President Vironix recommended I take on a new ranger, I knew just where to go. That's right. We want you! Yeah! I know what you're thinking. Do I have what it takes? After all, you may not have prevented Dr. Nefarious from atomizing Illyro City. You may not have stopped Neptun Prague from rendering the entire population of Aridia colorblind. Twice. After all, you may not have this chiseled jaw or godlike pectoral region, but if you have heart, then you have what it takes. You don't have what it takes. But I have heart. Yes, but unfortunately that heart is encased in a weak, muscleless mass of inexperience. Plus there's your history to consider. Got a long line of citations here. Possession of an illegal gravity repulsor? Operation of a black market accelerator? Willful disruption of the space-time continuum? That is a funny story. You're reckless. You're a loose cannon, and you're dangerous. That's my shtick. Wait, go just give me a chance. Sorry, no time. Galaxy in jeopardy. Get back out there. And remember, you can do anything. As long as you're me. Next! Meanwhile, on planet Quartu... Dr. Nefarious, the mad scientist who made all of this possible. Mad suggests cognitive impairment. I'm more of a vengeful scientist. I trust you're here to meet the troops. <laughs> State your prime objective. Destroy Galactic Rangers. State your prime objective. Destroy Galactic Rangers. State your prime up. Hmm. Hello. Defect detected. Preparing for immediate destruction. In three, two. Oh, a defect. Go play, Victor. Oh, now this is interesting. Now it seems we get to relive the moments of how Quark got here in the. F I mean, I Clank. Knew that his best chance for survival lay with the facility's ventilation system. Just run to the vent. He might just make it out of there alive. You know, truthfully, I kind of screwed up on those lines, and our objective's simple. We must escape the factory. All while trying to deal with Chairman Drek's new bodyguard. Yeah, I still, I can't believe I messed that up. Really badly. And I make it look easy, mind you, but I didn't really think that Drek would actually get allies from... Like, with Nefarious. For some odd reason, this all reminds me... This all pays not to Ratchet and Clank. Or rather, the entire franchise. Although I will admit, Nefarious looked kind of cool. Oh, God, no. Yeah, you're gonna have to do a lot better than that, my friend. How about make me? Ow, I got hit. Really, you think you're gonna get me after all that? As if. Ah. Get back here and let's settle this. Warbot to Warbot. Nah, I'm not interested. 
And besides, you're not even worth the effort. Yeah, water? Yeah, he's scared of water? What a chicken. Well, at least I'm getting the hang of this now. What seems to be the problem, Vinger? You won't get away oh, goody, I forgot. I messed that up really badly. I'm supposed to go this way, and then this way. I have it set right here. At least I'm getting more bolts for it, so that works. So yeah, I kind of messed up my lines earlier. So basically, we're now seeing what happened to Clank in this game. Whereas in the original, all oh, that was a cutscene. However, here in this case, makes it all the more sweeter. And I swear, I may want to do like a hard challenge mode playthrough. Who knows? But I am enjoying this game all the same. Feels like a Ratchet and Clank game, it plays like a Ratchet and Clank game, and it's just fun. And I gotta deal with this chase scene again, right? You think you can run from me? Not again. That brute again. Great. And it seems this douchebag doesn't seem to quit. Dude, just shut up. You're not even worth the effort. Missed. Come on, dude. Is that all you got? Uh, what did he just do? Oh, now they just made it challenging. Okay, fair enough. Ugh, great. You just gotta keep moving and dodge his blasts. Wow, you're scared of water. What a chicken. Computer, set coordinates for the Galactic Ranger home base. Destination set. We will never make it. But hey, what are you gonna do? Oh dear. Oh dear is right. This is bad for Clank. But I guess you guys know where this is gonna go, huh? I'll never be a ranger. <sighs> what? Shell damage. Sister board appears to be intact. Ah! I must get to Alero City. Dad. They are in danger. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, who's in danger? An army is coming. I must warn them. Hang on. Slow down. You've been in a crash. What do you say we get you back to my garage? I'll run a diagnostic and have you fixed up in no time. Thank you. I appreciate the assistance. It's no problem. So, what do I call you? I suppose my proper designation is Warbot Defect B54297. Uh, maybe I'll just call you Clank. My name's Ratchet. Uh, 
Up and down. Yeah, there you go. You're a natural. A million thoughts race through Ratchet's head. Could he repair this diminutive war box? Would it be the key to the adventure he craved? Did he leave the proto engine on in the garage? The answer to all these questions was yes. You know, I didn't need to know that junk. Hang on, I'll get us back to the garage. And it seems like we're about to have some trouble. Sadly, I ran out of weapon energy. So I gotta make sure to rearm myself. Well, we also gotta deal with these freaks. Because this is nighttime now on planet Belden. And unfortunately for us, this has to happen. Oh wait, they won't attack? Alright, fair enough. Large gaps were child's play to Ratchet. All he would need to get across is a trusty swing shot and a little bravado. Swing shot? If I had my swing shot right now, I'd be using it. So how do I get up there? Oh man, this is tougher than I thought it would be. Ah, aha, uh -huh. okay. Oh boy. Out of ammo. So, let me check my gadgets. Bingo. I need to set that as a shortcut. There you go. You have to hold down the circle button to do that. Hero, a conveniently placed crate provided Ratchet with a combustor. Nice, a combustor. Nice, we got a blaster weapon. Ratchet basked in the freedom of being able to switch weapons whenever he felt like it. Good, I'm gonna need that, mind you. And I can use one of the four buttons to switch weapons. You could shoot something to open the door. Don't worry, I got that covered. Shooting. Yeah, I make it look easy. Nice work. Good, now let's press onwards. Oh, great, here come the cavalry. Fine, let the bombs fly. I want you to lock the garage doors and then head down into the shelter. I'll be there as soon as I can. And here come the enemy forces. In a bad way, hurt, confused and alone. He scoured the Kizzle Plateau for signs of nanotech. Really now, I don't think so. You're not walking out of here. You don't impress me, by the way. Oh, and I thought I was going to fall. Is that a Blarg dropship? Great, the Blarg. The Blarg are showing up, and that can mean only one thing. We are in trouble. Oh, these guys want to play fun, eh? Fine. Eat this. You like fusion grenades? You should, because that's what you get. Oh, great. Ugh. Finally, you hit the floor. Thank you. And I wasted all my ammo for nothing. All right, great. Well, at least I got that taken care of. Evis. And of course, this. Are you okay? Just hold tight, Grim. I got this. Yeah, indeed. Refilled my ammo. That's something. Come on, you guys ain't even worth it. I'm now moving about all over the place and shooting you down. And he brings in reinforcements. Now, nah, reinforcements eat bombs. Oh dear, this is bad. And I'm dead. Yeah, this won't be the first and the last time I'll die on a place like this. Not to fret. 
Now let's hopefully I can actually do better this time. Really? You got it even worth the trouble. There. That should take care of them. And now let's take care of a dropship. Really, is that eight? Get it for high cover. Excellent. Destroy. And this should probably send it packing. Nice slow mo effect. Well, these guys are annoying. All right, Grim. Coast is clear. Can you open up? Ratchet, why is Zony's name just exploded? Sorry about that, Grim. Listen, get my tools ready. I just found something in the desert I need to look at. Interesting. What kind of factory is this? This? No, oh, this is just a garage. Lived here since I was a kid. Come on, let's get you fixed up. Man, that was nuts. Once they were safe, Clank explained Drek's plan to attack the Hall of Heroes. With the Galactic Rangers out of the equation, Ratchet knew he had to help, even though neither he nor Clank had the upper body strength necessary for hero work. I can totally help. Oh, I could not ask a civilian to get involved in something so dangerous. Well, no, I'm not just a civilian. The Rangers are actually my, uh, friends. Why do you think I have so many pictures of them? But why are you not in any of them? Well, someone had to take the picture, right? I mean, come on. I even have a ship. It disassembles so it can infiltrate enemy strongholds. <laughs> so what do you say? That's strange. I'm picking up something from Navalis. It appears to be some sort of distress signal, but it is being jammed using a blog-in signal dampener. Don't worry. The computer would have told us if we were in any real danger. Fatal crash imminent. Would you like to record your last will and testament? Admittedly, that's not super promising. 